Hey, what's up, everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight, we have two pretty expensive bottles of water. First up is Sap Water. This is $2.99 for the one single bottle, and this bottle is only 300 uh, milliliters. So, $3 for 300 milliliters. That's one of the, if not the most expensive per fluid ounce waters I've ever had. And I've had waters that are over $3, but they usually come in huge containers, or much bigger than this at least. So this is water from a tree. It's like sap water that they collect and stick in the bottles. And it's um, high in magnesium, and it's 10 calories. So this is one of those bottles where I'm not really sure if it's water or not. They call it water on the bottle. It's in the water aisle. But, you know, if it has 10 calories, is it really water? You know, it, ha it says it has 80% less sugar than coconut water. But if it's water, it should have no sugar or no calories at all. They stick this with other bottles of water in the grocery store. Maybe it should be in the soda aisle. Like, imagine if, um, imagine if Pepsi renamed itself to being flavored water instead of being soda. <laughs> You know, Pepsi is, it's soda, it's not water. If this has sugar in it, is it really water? You know, I'm not really sure. Next up is real water. This was recommended to me uh, in a YouTube comment. Someone said I should check this out. And they sent me a link to the website. The website had a, had a map of places you can, you can buy this at. And so I actually went to three places, three different stores, that were listed on their map of where you can buy this. And none of them had any idea about what this water was. So the map on the real water website needs to be updated. Um, I did eventually find this at East End Food Co-op. That's the same place I bought the sap water. It's like an expensive Whole Foods type of store. And it was $1.99 for a single a uh, single bottle. This has a high pH level and it's supposed to be like a scientific kind of water. Why it's RE2 water. It's like it's supposed to be a chemical a symbol there. And so it has a high pH level, an 8.0 pH level. It's infused with negative ions and the source is Birdstown Water District. They say they use a seven stage filtration process which includes reverse osmosis, ozone, and uh, a UV light and some other steps. And it's a pri proprietary E2 electron technology and it's infused with negative ions. So let's open it up. The bottle itself is kind of like a Fiji bottle. Um, and it says, get real. It's like indented in the bottle on the side. Oh, spill a little bit there. So let's open it up. Just test it out. It's a good one. Let me clean this up real quick. It's nice getting back to just real normal waters. In the past couple reviews, I've been doing like sparkling waters and flavored waters. It's just nice getting a normal water again. This is a wet one. They use BPA-free plastic here, so there's no weird plasticky taste to it. Let's open up the sap water. It's kind of got like a Snapple bottle lid. It even has the sound a Snapple bottle makes. There's the, there is a smell. It's not, you know, not odorless. It's a little more, it's a lot more mild than I was expecting, but there is a, a taste to it. It's more of like a lemon, lemon taste than, um, than syrupy. I was expecting a taste like pancakes, kind of, that's what I was expecting, but it's a lot more mild than that, for sure. Yeah, it tastes like lemon water, basically. 
Like if I added, you know, a couple lemons to this, it would probably taste the same as this. It's not bad. Maybe it's like lemon. If I put lemon in here and a couple pieces of bark, <laughs> then it would taste like sap water. It's not bad at all. I mean, if you're rich, I guess go ahead and buy this water. But if you're not rich, I think you're kind of a sap if you spend $3 on this water. Just to be honest. Um, like I said, it's not bad. But I don't think it's worth $3 a bottle. So the real water is moving on to the next round. Another neat thing is I guess it's uh it's not not a clear bottle, it's like tinted a color. I'm colorblind, but I think it's like a blue tint. So yeah, real water is moving on to the next round. Neither of these are bad. I can't I cannot give either of these a thumbs down. But this is the better one out of the two. So congratulations, Real Water. We're moving on to the next round.